Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and as promised I'm going to present yet another uh, short-term trading plan for you today. Uh, the first one based on the Euro Japanese yen currency pair worked perfectly. Our take profit uh, was hit. We managed to uh, post a live signal. I hope you caught that uh, because it gave us 95.5 uh, pips of profits in just two days. Today what we are going to look at is the Euro Canadian dollar currency pair and what you currently see on the screens is the H4 uh, time frame. So uh, first thing I noticed when I opened this uh, chart is that the price already made a five uh, wave um, cycle. Uh, if you are familiar with Elliott wave theory you would know that uh, one cycle, either a down or an uptrend, consists of five waves. So three impulse waves, uh, which are in the direction of the trend, and two correction waves. Usually after a uh, cycle is complete, uh, we have either a zigzag formation, which also can be um, described as a range, or uh, a new uh, cycle begins, either up or down again. In this case, we had, uh, as you can see here, we had a small consolidation and the price was moving into a range before beginning uh, the five wave cycle. As you can see, the cycle started from here. This was the first impulse wave. We had a correction. You can see that I already marked this uh, level as the bottom of wave one on H4. After that, uh, the third wave happened, which broke uh, this uh, bottom, reached down to here, where you can see I marked the bottom of wave three. We saw the correction wave, which reached exactly to the uh, exactly to the uh, bottom of wave one, right here. You can see how it touched it, and a new fifth wave began, which so far ended here. Uh, we can see that currently the price started going up. Uh, in this case, I don't expect it to break through the bottom of wave three, but if it does, that means a new uptrend cycle has begun. Uh, let's check on the lower time frames on H1, uh, what we have and what we can expect, and we'll talk a little bit about the M15 time frame. So, first thing first, you can see how the price uh, after the break here of uh, the bottom of wave three, uh, the price consolidated for a while uh, below that uh, broken level and just dropped down. So this uh, consolidation will now act as an H1 resistance area and H1 resistance area uh, usually stops M30 or M15 trends. Uh, you can see that here again we had a small consolidation before the beginning of this uh, uptrend wave here. Uh, this consolidation will act, act as uh, the H1 support area, which again will stop M30 or M15 or lower uh, trends. Now in this case, uh, what I'll be looking for is either to uh, sell the pair when the price enters this area or and I'll look for a target right here at the previous bottom and this H1 support area or if we see a break here I will most likely wait for a correction to this uh, H1 resistance which will turn to a support and for the new uptrend wave to begin and my target would be uh, somewhere up here right there of course uh, we'll look for this on for entries possible entries on the m15 as this can give us a good opportunity to catch a certain move uh, right from the beginning. So going down to the M15, 
currently there is not much to say even if we turn the Bollinger Bands we can see that we had a squeeze here but so far uh, we don't have a squeeze here it might be confirmed later on and if I see a squeeze here I'll wait for a break of this squeeze uh, preferably down but even though it is, it's up um, I'm more inclined to wait for uh, the price to break out of this H1 resistance. Uh, of course, if uh, the price starts going down from here, I would wait for uh, this previous consolidation or square formation formed by the price to be broken as it can act as a support at this point and I will uh, look for some possible entries right below it and with a target down here so this can be up to uh, 80 pips of profit now uh, this is the plan for today tomorrow and probably the beginning of next week although I uh, believe this plan can uh, develop and succeed by the end of this week but we'll see of course I'll uh, post live signals on our Twitter page and in our Telegram channel, so join there. Uh, we post a lot more signals than we post on Twitter and we post signals up, um, on plans we don't share, so you can get a lot more profits there. I wish everyone a profitable week by the end of the week and stay focused.